my my wonder is like where if you try to look at what human beings are capable of doing now in terms of genetic engineering and what the hopes are where do you think this leads us if this is allowed it's not whether or not it's going to be allowed it's going to happen where do you think this leads us to do you, do you think this le when you look at this is when you look at the archetypal alien what is it? It's got a large head and <laughs> this n no sex organs. And they never have hair. I want a no hairy muscle. alien one day. A hairy with, alien. With, with a hairdo. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. They're always bald, big eyes. 1970 eyed. afro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what do you think that leads us to? Do you think that leads us to like one uniform shape? Or do you think it leads us to everyone looking like Thor? Like where does that lead us to? Yeah, but of course, Thor still had to go to the gym. But, so. if, but what if there comes a point in time where Sorry, that's not the necessary? actor who plays Thor right. still had to go to the gym. <laughs> right. Well, with things like biostatin inhibitors, you yeah. aware of those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So if they I incorporate that into the human genome, then you're going to have people that have incredible amounts of muscle mass, and they don't even have to do anything to achieve it. But what you would have done was, as a parent or as someone in control, predetermine what they can or should be in life. Right. Whereas in a free world, in a free society, a person's own ambitions should be what guides them. In, certainly. In my opinion. Uh, uh, and I certainly. don't think that's a controversial opinion. Certainly. I agree with you. So, but, but my concern is... Yeah, it's a real concern. Oh, and yeah. if the technology gets to the point where it's a uniform strategy and that people just start doing that to their children. We're talking 100 years from now, 1,000 years from oh, now. Way, way where, sooner than that, 50 right, years where easily. Does this, where does this go? Easily 50 years. Yeah, so you want to have the muscle-bound family? But suppose one of them wanted to be a ballet dancer and had to be a little more langy, lanky and what elegant. What if we get to a point where genetic engineering could be utilized on fully formed adults and you could change... The shape of like you know, there's there's people that are transgender. What if you could literally become a double X chromosome human being, and you will literally have a vagina, literally have breasts, ovulate, have yeah, a I, womb. I don't know how that would. I have to think about how that would happen. Well, that would be like an extreme right, limit an, of, of an evolution of technology. Uh, your genomes, yeah. I so that that's a really interesting different world. It means you can be whoever you want. Right. That's what we are during, on Halloween, right? Well, You're wherever you want to be. What are your thoughts on human neural interfaces, like things like Neuralink and these technologies that are being proposed that would allow yeah. human beings to integrate with technology in a physical way, symbiotically? Yeah, so I have, I have a chapter in here called, um, called Exploration and Discovery, where we talk about the rapid pace of technology and its impact on civilization which is extraordinary but um, I most predictions are wrong you get it right in the first few years and after a few decades well with new technology new possibilities emerge that couldn't even they be couldn't anticipated. Even, they, 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 it comes in from the side yeah rather than like the internet more of what correct correct right. it reminds me of uh, there was an ad in 1990 1993, early 90s from AT&T. They had a re relatively successful ad campaign where they said, have you ever wanted to ba -da 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 -da? and they say some futuristic thing and they say, you will, AT&T will bring it to you. Yeah, okay? I've seen that. One of the things, one of the commercials was something I've never wanted to do, never dreamed of doing, never did, and never will do. They show a guy on a beach, okay, and he's working on a tablet, which was a good predictive thing. Tablets did come. He's looking at the television and said, have you, and there's a surf coming in. It was a beautiful beach scene. He said, have you ever wanted to send a fax from the beach? <laughs> well, <laughs> you will. at <laughs> and It's like, no, thank you. No one has ever in the history of the universe wanted to do that.